grade ones, in today's final math measurements video, we're learning about comparing different capacities, which means we're looking at how much or how little a container can hold. So I need your help again today, grade ones. My friend has offered me some chocolate chips, but they said I can only have one container full. So I want to pick the best container that will fit the most chocolate chips. So are you ready to help me? All right, let's go. So I have found these three containers in my home. Container number one, container number two, and container number three. They all look like different sizes to me and I want to make sure that I'm picking the biggest one. Which container do you think is the biggest? So I'm thinking container number two is the biggest because it's looking pretty tall and it's looking pretty wide. But I want to make sure that I'm picking the best container. So how could we find out which one will actually hold the most chocolate chips? So I'm going to show you a strategy that you can use to find out which container will hold the most. So first step is making your own funnel. So I made this funnel from paper. I curled the paper around itself, then I taped it down, and then I made sure there was a wide opening at the bottom so that I can pour my chocolate chips into the container a little bit easier. So that's what I'm going to use to pour my chocolate chips. So. The next step will be to pour the chocolate chips through the funnel into container one to see how much container one will hold. Then we're gonna pour the contents from container one into container two to see if container number two can still hold more chocolate chips or less. So, are you ready? We're gonna pour slowly. It's already full. All right, so this is how much, we're gonna ignore this one. This is how much container number one can hold. Now, we're gonna pour these chocolate chips into container number two to see how much container number two can hold. So let's see. Because it's a bigger opening, we don't need the funnel for this one. Ah, so what did we just observe? We just found out that container number two can still hold a lot more chocolate chips. So container number two's capacity is larger than the capacity of container number one. So I am not gonna wanna use container number two, one for my chocolate chips because I'm not gonna get enough. So now let's try doing the same thing. We're gonna pour the contents of container number two into container number three to see if container number three can still hold more or less. So for this, I'm gonna use my funnel again and I'm gonna pour them. Ah, interesting. So, what did we find out this time? We just found out that container number one, or sorry, container number three, can hold just as many chocolate chips as container number one. Isn't that interesting? They're different shapes. Container number one is taller, container number three is wider. They can hold the same amount. But, unfortunately, they cannot hold as much as container number two. So container number two is the container I'm gonna go for. So I'm gonna pour my contents back and we're gonna make sure they don't get stuck. That's all right. So let's fill out container number two just for fun because this is the container I'm gonna use for my chocolate chips. still fit a little bit more. Alrighty. So we have just discovered through this little strategy that container number two has the largest capacity. Thanks for helping me with my measurements yet again today, grade ones. So today we learned about capacity, which means we looked at different containers and we found out which container holds the most and the least. So we discovered that the easiest way to do this is to simply take our containers and pour the same contents into each container to see which one will hold the most or the least. So it's your turn now, grade ones. This week's challenge is for you to find the largest container in your house so that you can fit your favorite drink in it. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you measure and I'll see you next time. Bye.